The wait is over. It's coming. It is happening. Here we go. It is live. <laughs> There it is, folks. Long-awaited rematch. The battle on the bar boxes. Two virtual veterans going at it. What do we got, Ron? Look at it. Look the at wait that. is over. <clears throat> Had some tech issues, but we're finally here, folks. Yeah. Give that man some intro music. <laughs> God, God knows he deserves it. He's ready. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, got some two heavy hitters tonight. Both guys have been on a heater. Both guys' breaks have just been crushing people out in the virtual pool community. Tango, I don't think lost at all um, from what I remember last year. So, he, uh, he's he been a monster on the bar box. Uh, he beat me recently. I was one of the victims. And Ruben and Tango also played. Uh he went over on Ruben as well. I was just looking at a 7-5 the last time you guys met. I think that was in November or December. Yeah, that was about um, four months ago. Yeah, Ruben and I locked horns and tried to go at it one more time to see who was going to get a shot at Tango. It ended up being Ruben, and now the winner of these two will get a shot at Marco. So, uh, yeah, so welcome everybody who's joined us. We got some fun heads-up action. was supposed to be a Thursday night matchup. Ends up being a nice Sunday night stream, so we shall get underway we did a coin flip before the before the the live started here and uh tango did win that so small advantage to tango uh i'm gonna do the quick odds real quick and then we'll give it back over to let you guys talk about whatever um small favorite tango tonight minus 110 so 110 dollars to win 100 bucks on tango we'll say that the momentum carries tango making ruben the small underdog. So live dog as always should be a good match, guys. What do you guys think, Ruben? What's up? Well, like we said me and you've been um, waiting for this moment. We both tangled horns. I came out victorious on that one, but all I got was uh, what is it? A uh, out of the pan into the fire because now I'm gonna get the tango that's been on a destruction uh, in the last I don't know how many months there, but Probably the whole year, right? Yeah, he was on a tear last year. So I think this is his first uh, 24 appearance. So it should be good. We haven't seen yeah. him in a while. So either way, he's been shooting very well. Uh, definitely has been uh, tearing it up on the table, especially on this heads up format. So I've been putting in the work and hopefully tonight it pays off. So uh, good luck, Tango. Um, I'm usually not a guy with excuses, but uh, huh. my finger, I don't know if you guys know the story, but. Oh, no, it's not the it's finger. It's it gives me a fight, too. Oh, no, his finger's what? No. <laughs> it's, uh, I got a boo-boo. I got a boo-boo. Yeah, so good luck, that, Tango. I know that's you, not uh, an excuse. That's just an insurance policy, just in case. I like it. You just came it. back right. from a tournament, right? No, we had. Uh, masters playoffs today so here locally we actually have an in-house masters league nice. uh, and then the the playoff matches were this week so we uh we had to go up there and and play our our little match to see if we can get into the qualifier tournament awesome kick ass man we won we closed the match down after two matches at like 15 to 6 so Damn. yeah you know, there's yeah, that. hopefully that carries <laughs> on for you here. Right. On to the next week or on to the, the tournament. I think that's a mid-May sometime. Heck yeah, that's kick-ass, man. Good to have you back on stream. We haven't seen you in a while, Tango, so it should be fun. It should be fun. I've been watching Ruben. He's uh, he's, he's putting him around pretty well. He's, he's like... I'm going to have to wear shin guards or something because he's going to run around this room kicking me in the shins, you know. <laughs> right. Me the pool cue. Yeah. It's all right. Look at the look on his face. He's like, he is gunning. He he wants this win. And Determination. 
the look you know, of determination. I'm, I'm tell you this. I, I tell you what, uh, Tango, I did get inspired by Ron Johnson. I mean, I'm talking about not only the the win last time, but that one run out he did. Boy. <laughs> That's, that's what we call it, Ron, the run out. <laughs> the run out. Yeah, even a blind dog oh, finds bone every now and then, Ruben. So. Man, that yeah. was, like I said, that run out, that was like the start of, uh, of your, your match against Gizmo. And, uh, man, you shot very well to uh, take the win on that one. Yeah, thank you. I, it felt good. felt good to get a win and, and to get my revenge from my prior match with, with the Gizmo. And... Uh, just makes it uh, even more thrilling for the for the rematch, and uh, you know. So we'll we'll see when we can get that rolling at some point in time in the future. But you know, we're we're all looking forward to this match. This is the heavy hitters. This is the big boys, and uh, you know, you've you've earned your way up to Tango, and Tango is going to look to see what he can do to to keep keep his his win streak going. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to an exciting match tonight. I think that it's, uh, I think it's, it's going to be a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm looking forward to a hill hill between these two. Couldn't agree more, Ron. I think it'll be tight no matter I, what. I think that would be fun. Absolutely. That would definitely be fun. It'll be a little bit funner with, uh, me breaking the last one, but it's not going to be me because Tango won the, uh, with the coin flip, so I do not want to see a hill hill match. <laughs> yep, slight advantage to the person who wins the coin flip. Assuming they get the hill, they'll have the break. So we can uh, yeah. go over the rules if you like, or do you want to jump into it? What you want to do? Yeah, let's go over the rules and then uh, thank everybody that's showing up here on the live stream. Absolutely. We will address them in just a second. Let's take a look at the rules real quick. Gameplay is BCA rules coin flip for the break if a ball is pocketed player shoots until he misses table is open after the break regardless of balls down eight ball to be spotted if it's pocketed obvious shots do not need to be called call all your caroms kicks combos jump shots etc all fouls are ball in hand and they are costly in the heads up format players alternate after misses or fouls player who scratches will start from the kitchen once their turn resumes first to pocket a call eight ball wins the rack and they'll need seven to get it done tonight folks race to seven and Darren I wanted to point out that we do have a special guest watching us today no other than Marilyn Marco does he know that he plays the winner of tonight's match by the way well if he, he does, doesn't he does, he does now, now. Yeah. I don't His know. Ears Has Ruben getting contacted him yet, Ruben? Right. <laughs> We've got a team of lawyers working on it. <laughs> All paid for by Gizmo, by the way. Right. But yeah, uh, Marco, we're looking forward to playing you. Whoever wins tonight, uh, we'll get a hold of you and see uh, when we can do that matchup. You know it. So, uh, yeah, we'll take a look real quick in the chat who we got in there. We just said Marco Russell's in the chat. What's going on there, Ru Russell? Cootie, haven't seen him in a while. What else we got even, in there? Even the Bolton. Chucksters lingering from work. Anthony yeah. OG. If I miss you, I apologize. I think that's what we got so far. So, yeah, we can get this thing going. <clears throat> All right. Pick her up. The wait is over. Yes, sir. I've been waiting four months for this thing. Well, cool. Eat it up. I wish you the best of luck. I'll give her all she's got. She she Played very me. well, and that's what's had me excited this whole time. Sweet. All right. So uh, it will be Tango's break first. So we'll pop on over to Tango. Best of luck, gentlemen. Shoot well. Let's <clears> have some fun out there. Yes, sir. So. We go for rack number one. Oh. 
How about a scratch? All right, and a foul strike to start. Cue ball ends up in the side pocket. That will be an automatic ball in hand for Ruben, assuming he doesn't foul himself, even if it's a dry break. It's it good will. spread. Oh, and by the way, we're both playing with the Air Myth Casino balls. Yep, I was about to mention that, Ruben. So one foul there for Tango. All right, rack number one for Ruben. Red, red ball down on the side. All right, red ball on the side. Good spread. Both of them actually had a good spread. Yep. Give Ruben the edge for it still remaining his turn. All right, since uh, Tango wanted to be kind enough to give me ball in hand, I'm going to take it. Yep, it is ball in hand. Yeah, like you said, Ronnie's got a good spread to start. And obviously, uh, when you have nothing touching anything else and you got ball in hand, I would favor Ruben over 50% to run this out. Yeah, I, I would agree. Looks like most everything's got a pocket, at least a pocket. So, Yeah, this is a good spot to start. Eight balls open. I like it. Yeah, good looking table there. Let's take a look at the comments. Man, they both look so nice. They right. do. I know the Reds got one less. But it's just a lot of work down here and a lot of work down here. You know what I'm saying? Yep, both ends. Where you got all the yellows in the middle. Yeah, the only one the hash is marks. This is basically insurance. Sure. So once I make this one, I'm hoping to have a better uh, a better selection. All right, I'll start off with the yellows. All right, going for the yellows. This back to midfield. Oh, rattles that one in there. That was the tough yellow, I thought, in this, in this uh, layout. Yep. He just got rid of it. Three yellows remain. Eight ball just outside of the rack there. Just, just north of the head spot. Yeah, it looks like he can go in either corner pocket with that eight ball, too. So. Yep. Good spot to be in. Ooh, a little bump there. Obviously, wasn't enough room to get in there. That makes things interesting now, I think, a little bit, Ron. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's still a makeable shot, especially for Ruben. I think he can run it down. Yeah. But it's a it's a matter of controlling, controlling yeah. the rock now. But... Yep, two rails back up to the last yellow. He's going to be on the wrong side of it, but you should be okay. Makes it interesting. He's going to have to work for it. Yep. These shots are easy to overlook. Nicely done. Nice back cut. He's going to be on a red. Is he good? He'll let us know. Look over the side. 
All right, side pocket to get on the board first. This will count as an assisted break and run. Unbelievable, oh. folks. I can't believe that. That was going to be a break and run. Yeah, didn't see Turns that coming. Automatic loss there for Ruben. Welcome back, but, Daniel. <laughs> right, yes. Let's pull everybody back in real quick. Let me make some adjustments here. Yeah, wow. Didn't 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 see that one coming from Ruben. Yeah, for sure. I was trying to avoid the side pocket, so I didn't want to draw on it. And I was hoping to hit right there in the center, so... Right. It is what it is. Uh, I got out of the line, and that's what I did. Yeah, you did have a high run, Ruben, of seven balls. But all for nothing, obviously. Tough break. High run. Seven. Let me get first foul of the night for Ruben. Obviously, the worst of the kind. Yeah, it reminds me of our match, Darren. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was, I did have a little bit of deja vu when that when I seen that happen. So and that's what I was. That's what it came from. That was when we played. You did the same. So, all right, cool. Let me take a look. So that's going to be one nothing tango. It will be Ruben's break. He's on the evens. And let's go over to Ruben now. Cool rack number two. Here we go. So let's see if you can. Shake off that one. Those are those are easy to shake off if they happen early. So get it out of your mind now. And it helps when it's your break. But it's oh, going to be a dry one with a tough start when he comes couple, back. A couple of reds rattled. So close. Unreal. Yep. Move yep. it back over to Tango. That's going to be dry break number one for Ruben tonight. All right. Ball down Tango. The corner. Yep. Tango with the red down. Not, a, not a, a yeah, not a great starting point. I agree. His opening shot either. Yep. Left kind of tough there too. Blocked in. One ball down. First recorded ball down for Tango. He did have a scratch on the break in the first rack. Giving Ruben a ball in hand to run out. We are streaming on both channels, by the way, guys. Yep. Tango takes the reds. Red GB. Yeah, it's... Every red you got some access to, but it's it's tough to get on them. Yeah, there's there's especially. a small window for every shot on the table. Yeah, it's going to be kind of tough to negotiate that red in, the, in amongst the the pack there. Yeah, and just finding a line to chain these shots together. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and play bank, bank guys, right here. All right, sounds good. Going for the bank. Nice um, shot. Put him behind it. Bad cue ball, good bank. I was hoping to clear those out just a little bit. Yep. Killed it right there. You play that red in the corner. All right. Tango goes rail first, hits it a little thick. And he's going to add to his frustration there. We've got three reds bunched up in between some yellows. But uh, going back over to Ruben, he's got a lot of problems himself. Starts off stuck behind a red in the kitchen. Limited options. He's going to look it over right now. No time limit. It's just a gentleman's game, folks. All right, I'm just going to call this red since it's still open. 
Yep. Trying to get the duck red in the side pocket. Let's see if I can get lucky and have Knock something to bump it in. Yep, you're gonna have to get a little messy here. Oh, you Ooh, missed. Oh. just missed. And it's oh, gonna be a foul. Automatic foul. ball on hand for Tango. He didn't hit any ball on the table. Right. How did that happen, folks? I, I have no idea. That thing had back eyes. To, yep, back over to Tango. I can't remember to do that. Right. Foul number two for Ruben. Definitely a welcome ball in hand for Tango. Oh, yeah. So be able to help uh, negotiate and clear out some of that cluster he's got there. So for sure, this is, uh, this is one of those situations where the, the first shot probably going to be the most important here. Especially when you got ball in hand, want to make the best of it. I am out from here, though. <laughs> Ruben always reminding us he is out from here. Classic shark move. It's been around since the early 30s, I believe. What is that? We all learned it from a classic black and white. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Play it like I originally wanted to and go on, I guess. Inside. All right. Pocket. Three reds remain. Corner. Punched it out. Yeah, I didn't quite get it, though. Yep. Might be a cross bank here. How do you, John Knight? Corner. Oh, goes two rails. Yep, that's going to be Ruben's turn. Yep. But he's got one off the. Let's take it over to Ruben. All right, we're going to go with the red all the way down. All right, Ruben starting off. After he was unable to make contact with the red, so. He's got a little window there to get to the side pocket. Just got to stun the ball over a little bit. Three reds remain. No way. Oh. Ruben coming a little yeah, unraveled there. My, my with my bad That's going to be our first makeable shot missed. I told you my is injured. He did mention that, folks. You can go back and replay it for yourselves. So that's going to be makeable miss. All right. I think I got it on Tango. Cool. Yes, unbelievable. Boy, Take boy, got nothing yep. here. Yep, going to be looking for a possible two putt. Just trying to open it up, give himself a chance for next time. Yeah, you kind of got to go for something, make something happen. That's not going to. That's going to do it as far as a two putt, though. He can see the red. Yeah. Yep, it does have a pocket. Yeah. Yep. Let me fly back over to Ruben. I'm to try to cut this one. There's not much room, but I don't want to go for a bank. That's what's been getting me on this table is my rails. Red and court. All right. All right. 
to be a tough shot on the red now. Last red. Going, to, going for a bank. Cross side. side pocket. Oh, oh great shot. Yellow and in. Great shot. That was a good shot. That was the only way I could have played that one. Eight in the side. And another possible scratch here and possible scratch there. Doing it Tangled. once definitely makes you think about it. All right, I'm going to go for the side. I don't think I'm running that, that bad, especially after that shot right now. Right. If I scratch here. Just cut the stream. <laughs> Put it on unlisted. Reset and try again. <laughs> there it is. This time. There you go. Yeah. Ruben writing some wrongs, controlling the cue ball a little bit more. Let's bring yep. everybody back in. Let me get this ticker updated. All tied up. Tied up at one Just piece. like that, we tied it. There. It will be Tango's break, breaking on the odds. What do you think so far? Ron Johnson, we got one one. Could possibly should probably be uh Ruben two two nothing, yeah. right? Yeah, should be, you know. Ruben was kind enough to give Tango a gift to start the match. So, you know, uh, and and uh Tango Tango had a tough rack to negotiate at that time. Ruben definitely yeah. had, you know, had the better I mean, layout. The birthday was, coming up, so you know. You're you're not opposed yeah, to early birthday gifts at all, JR? Tango and I share the same birthday, do we not? We do. 26th? Yes, awesome. That'll be next Friday. How old are you going to be? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be the fresh old age of 45. The big 4-0 for me. Welcome oh, to the you Young men. Flamingos. We'll put them in your yard. Put some what? There's a pink flamingo. <laughs> nice. You can thing. They fill someone's yard with pink flamingos nice. when you turn 40. Oh, no shit. Cool. All right. It is Tangle's break. Rack number three. <clears throat> All right. We got a red in the side. Two reds down oh. in the side pocket. And the cue ball gets kicked in. Oh, dear. Wow. Didn't see that. That's, Ricochet that off that exactly. yellow right at the end and diverted to That's the corner. Automatic ball in hand for Ruben. He knows the rules. Foul number Twice. two for Tango, and that's both of those come on the break. So Tango is just yeah, there, I'm going to bring up two of um, the back reds were reds. Were reds? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we caught it now. Yeah, I think you had two reds on the rack. Not a big deal. We're going to let it go. We've already missed it, so I didn't. I didn't catch it. Not a big deal. All right. And I get ball in hand. Yep. He does get ball in hand. Does get ball Will in hand though. Court is a dry break. He does have an opportunity for a dry and run assisted. Pretty good spread again. Yep. Workable for sure. Or this one doesn't have a pocket. <laughs> I'm taking the reds. Which I think I would agree with that choice for sure. Yep. I think it's the more manageable set on the table. Yeah, that uh, yellow one diamond away from the side pocket's an issue. Narrowly avoided that. Right. Go for the 
All right, combination. Red to the red in the corner. She goes, leaves it there for the next shot. Three reds remain. Good control on that, Ruben. Thank you. You know it, John. It's called, called an insurance policy. Trying to leave himself enough off that rail. Yep. Line on two straight. Came yeah, ball down. It. There it is. Ruben up. Two rats to one. Assisted break and run on that. Yep. His uh, high run will continue. So put that down for a dry run. He did have the missed opportunity earlier on the break and run. And that one is a steal. That is a steal. That was his. That was uh, Tango's break. Give me a second to update all the stuff. Let's pull everybody back in. Talk to me, Ron. What you got? So... <clears throat> So he's got what a, a run of eight so far, then? Yeah. So his his high run will continue. Yep. He does have a high run of eight. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, he negotiated that rack really well. That ball in hand definitely you know helped him. Once he got the one red out of the way, then he, <clears throat> he was able to see that plan and work through that rack really nice. So that was that was a great break, a great run. Yeah. Puts him up two to one. So and it's going to be. See, his break, so his break. So see if he can continue on that high run here. Here we go. Back over to Ruben. So it's always a good spot to be in. You can steal the break, and it's your break next. Yeah, balls and breaks. A couple balls down. For sure. Another good spread. Tough position for the cue ball to start, but he will have a couple options. Yep. So I believe that was two down on the break. Yeah, one of each. Or no, two red. No, one red. All right, we'll go for the red all the way down. Looks like he's taking a red uh, down table. <laughs> Nicely done. Got good on that ball there. Yep. Got some options. Sides to try to get a little better there on the red in the middle center table. Looks like he did all right. Yep, looks like he can still squeeze it past if that's those goes, okay. goes in another direction. Yeah, there, there's not much pocket. I don't think it goes in right there. Guys... Okay. Yeah, so he's down in his last three reds here. And if I miss it, I'm, I'm going to be a dead duck with that one floating right here. Nice bump on the yellow. Yep. Cleared that out of the way. Left in good shape.
Stun over. I'm supposed to be over here. Yeah, it's going to make it a little difficult, I think, to hold the cue ball, but he should be okay. I guess well, I guess it depends on if that yellow can be used. Right. Yeah, if I have a little bit more of that yellow to bump into, I'll be good. Yeah, you don't get enough of the yellow, you're in trouble. All right, red in the side pocket. Bump, good bump. That's exactly the shot he needed, folks. Yep. All right. For the second break and run of the night. Yep, looking to go up. Yeah, this one's going to be the one that counts. And there it is. Well, a dry Keep run out, Ruben. and a breaking run. Back to back. Up back three to back. one. High run goes to 16 balls. Let me bring everybody back in here. Take a look at our ugly mugs. Banners. So that was a quick rack. So it's just, uh, it's really just Ruben kind of on a tear here. He hasn't really let Tango get involved in this match yet. Right. I see. I don't, Tango has a high run of three balls. So that tells you that he really hasn't had any time on the table. Well, the really two scratches good. certainly haven't helped. That's for sure. So no, no, if no. he can, uh, Yep. We can control control those scratches on, on the break and get something to fall. I think that uh, he's not out. That's for sure. You know. Yeah. So uh, we'll we'll see what he does. I think it's his break now. Yep. Gonna go on over to Tango. This is rack number five. Tango on the odds. Another yellow down, two yellows down, one on the side, one in the corner. Probably his best start of the night. Yep. Good spread. Yep. Got a couple a couple trouble balls, but bring his I ball think down up to three. I think they're negotiable, though. Thank you for joining us. We always appreciate everybody's support. All, All right. Gets the good bump there. Tango, let's see where he's going to end oh, up. He oh, keeps no. better than that. Oh, no. He need to hit that red pretty full. Ends up thinning it, getting behind it. Now he's in a lot yeah, of trouble. Yeah, kind of there, bud. Yep. It was that a good was a effort. Nice breakout, too. I thought I was just going to clip it. Just looking towards the future, opening up that eight ball. He's uh he's looking pretty out if he would have got got the position he needed. Now he's got to try to make a good hit. Does not want to give Ruben another ball in hand. Both gentlemen have two fouls tonight. Probably yellow in the corner. All right. Looking for a long kick shot here, I believe. Whoa, what how did he hit shot. it, people? What a Beautiful shot. Kick. I was just going to say I favor Tango to make a contact, but, you know, making it, it's a whole other beast. Nice That's shot, Jay. Shot. Great Thank shot, Jay. We're gonna save that one. Unbelievable. So that's the kind of shot you need to get in the game. 
Look at this accuracy here. Good control there. That's where he was. was trying to be somewhere over yep. there to, to start this trying thing to... off. That was the tough yellow. That's a good hit. Yep. Look good. Good shape. Shooting slightly over a red, but I think uh, Tango's favored to make it. Hey, ball in the corner. All right. And she goes. Good Tango. Out, JR. His first earned eight ball of the night that gets him to two three phenomenal two. kick shot highlight reel for sure yeah, to get himself great. back into the back and into that, the match and that was a break and run right yeah yes yes that was a break and run because ruben's still sitting at a high run of 16 that changes tango's high run to eight had the good highlight reel kick shot there. Let me uh, update the banner. So Tango's not out of this at all. It's definitely the one nope. you want to win. Yep. And that's where, you know, I was saying, being able to control that break, not scratch, get, get a ball or two down, and that's exactly what he did there, you know. Gave right. himself, gave himself right. the opportunity to get back in it. You got something to say, Ruben? Yeah, great, great kick shot to stay alive, Tango. We're either going to remember that shot for the great shot it was, or we're going to remember that shot for the moment in time you might have came back. So we still got a lot of game to play. <laughs> a lot of narratives is what he's trying to say. A lot of narratives right. still play right. out. Rack number six for Ruben. He does have the lead. Three racks to two. This is a race to seven. Red on the side. Red on the side, yep. Hey, my high run continues, right? Correct. Your high run does. Yeah, it's going to be 17, yes, sir. Ball number four on the break tonight. Grab a little red in the corner. Start off with the reds. into the pack a little bit. He did open it up. Yep. Get the temper rack out of the way. So gave himself some looks at the red. It's a pretty good breakout. Looking at that combination now. Anytime you got that much distance between a Two balls. I figure. I figured uh, it's a pretty tough shot, even if it's lined up. Can be. That's for sure. Doesn't take much to throw it off. All right, we'll go for the side. We'll go for the break. I can either save this for later, but I really don't want to do a combination right now. There's going to be too much writing on the line. But you know what? Tango made a nice. 
out, I'm going to go for a nice out as well. Combination. Good combo, good control. Good speed. Three reds remain. Some fancy shot is happening right now. Yeah, it's a behind-the-back draw shot. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to see if I have a, bit, a different option. You see, I was hoping to have an angle on this one. That's why. And then it just come back out. But yep. right. It's close to his work. Heaven forbid we use a bridge. We just don't have the time. Yeah, all I need is a draw shot. And I'm going <laughs> to get my extension. Shout out to uh, Anthony, he's out there. He is. I think he's in the chat. This is a touchy shot since uh, I'm using a foreign object to shoot right now. I do not want to foul. You mean besides the one on your finger? Exactly, the one that's on my finger. <laughs> Wow. I might have to just take an angle on it. and I feel better about this than trying to make it come back. All right, I'm going to go for the uh, corner. All right. And it's going to be a foul, maybe. Yeah, it did not touch a rail. It did not touch oh. a rail. I cannot believe it. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm using that extension, so it's very, very awkward. Yeah, oh. it was not an easy shot. You've seen him looking at it from about 40 different angles. Yeah, it's gonna go Tough. back over. Not like that shot at all. Yep, that's gonna be foul number three there for. I Ray. underestimated the stretch on that. So, uh, Tango knows the rules. Assuming he doesn't foul after the break, even if it's dry, it will be his turn with an automatic ball in hand. So, looking to take advantage of this. <sighs> Whole shot just felt so weird with that extension. All right, here we go. Rack number six underway for Tango. Getting after it. Yellow on the side. Tough start with the cue ball. ball. Down. He did have one Buddy. down. He remains at the table. Yeah, yep. but I get ball in hand, right? Oh, that's right. Ball I'm sorry. Yep, ball in hand. Correct. Yep. That's right. So Andy's high run continues. Yep. What did Ruben stop at? What did he get? Five ball, three or four balls? Four balls on that. So Ruben, yep. yeah, at twenty. Ruben's high run stays at twenty. Sits at twenty. This is continuing uh, Tango's run too, I believe. Correct. So he's sitting at a high run of eight balls tonight. Which is just seven yellows or seven reds and the eight ball. Just got to pocket a ball in your next rack to keep your high run going, as Tango did. It was a tough start for him. He's thankful to have the ball in hand. Ruben gave him – Tango gave Ruben a similar situation earlier, so – All right, okay. Reds. Reds it is. Cool. This side, guys. Yes, sir. Okay. Think he's all right. Yeah, I think he's got a couple options here.
side pocket. Good gun. Control. Yep. Nice mm. stun over. Three reds remain. Might have got a little straight on this. The only issue with not taking that ball on the rail earlier, I thought, Ron, is that you're kind of betting that you get back to it at some point. Right. You're betting that you're going to have a better angle, and, you know, it was makeable earlier, so. But he gets perfect. Right. Stuns it over for a great shot. Yep, a little straight on it. It's going to make the eight ball a little bit trickier. He's going to probably take his medicine here. Yeah, that's about all he could do. Yep. Get himself just enough off the rail to give an honest try at this. In the corner. All right, for an assisted break and run. Tango. He's out. All tied up. Getting Ladies there. And yes. That's exactly right. it, Ruben. Ain't nothing I can do. Ties it up at three. Hey, there, put me, put me on the camera. Yeah, this I'm going. Here we go. I'll see if I can land it and do the have a shot after that. Yeah, I was going to go for a jump shot next. All right. I was out from here, man. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, let's take that down. Let me adjust the banner. That's going to no. tie things up at three. Ron, what you got? Nice out, Daniel. No, it's uh, great you. out. You know, again, Ruben, uh, Ruben, you know, it, it's unfortunate, and that's the that's the challenge that you have sometimes with those combos is, you know, it, it uh, overextended himself up into the corner like that. And, uh, you know, it's one of those that uh, when you look at the shot, you, you want to be careful and you want to be able to control the speed. But at the same time, it's uh, it uh, the afterthought there. I'm sure, you know, if he could go back and shoot that combo again, he he might do it a little bit different. So, yeah, given given Jr. the ball in hand, you know, that's. Uh, those ball in hands have, have been a kind of a difference maker here today. So for sure. All tied yeah. up and you know, race to four. Here we go. What a match. It is three three, so we thought it'd be tight. And it sure is. All right. Rack number seven for Tango. There you go, Chuck. <laughs> Can't get through a stream without seeing Chuck. And the sorcery. That's going to be dry. Looks yep. Looks dry. Break. A lot of noise. All for nothing there. Back over to Ruben. So that will end Tango's high I run. For that power. Yep. High run at 16. Yes, sir. High run at 16. That's going to be Tango's first dry break of the night. He's had a couple scratches on the break. First registered All right, dry break. Man, I'm going to have to steal this one from you. All right. And it's going to be a dry break for Ruben. Dry I'm going to give Tango the, the better spread, obviously, this time around. He's got nothing touching a rail. Yeah, we'll go back over to Tango. Ruben's got a couple of trouble spots there on that table. So Yep. So let's see if Tango can uh, turn the tide here. He has been down. I think the biggest deficit was a 3-1 for him. And it could have easily have been a 4 nothing, Ron. Absolutely. We talked about Ruben's first First rack there with a almost break and run until he uh, scratched on the eight ball. Looking at the numbers right now, both guys pretty equal on stats. Right. Did I put up the ticker? 
There it is. Sorry about that, folks. 3-3 three, three for just joining us. We shoot to combination. All right, combination, yellow to red. Everything's neutral to start. Machine man bugging telling you what to shoot or what? <laughs> Yeah, good control on that. Pull hug or uh, More than welcome to play. Always looking for new virtual players. If you like what you see, give us a like and so you can get involved sometime. Nicely done. All you need is a cell phone and a pool table to get involved. And we got a matchup for every skill level. Yep. And we're just playing for playing for funsies, just practicing with purpose. Absolutely. Makes it a little bit more interesting. You're saying this for fun, but I'm over here crying. All right, sweating. That's the fun of it. Good stop shot. Leaves himself for either direction in this case. Yep, he's got a tough red here. Yep. question certainly is how to get on that red in the middle of those in the middle of that yellow triangle three reds left Nice to see you, bud. Thanks for joining us. Keep going. Ah. Ooh, wow. That's going to be Tangle's first makeable shot miss tonight for him, but he was trying to make something happen. That's usually how these things go. Was that a good yep. hit? <laughs> yeah, it was a good hit. Yeah, it yeah, was good. Just, just over, overcut. Yep. Just trying to, trying to put the inside English on it and, and overcut it. it on so. just a little bit. And... All right, so yep. I, I still have an open table. Yep. But unfortunately, this spot does not go. Tougher of the two uh, layouts. Yellow, yellow in the corner. And I want to I want to land right on the rail, so I can have an angle to break this out. So he's got a plan. Let's see if he can execute it. I have to land on the rail, but I, I cannot follow this ball and scratch. So I'm gonna try it to. It always shoot. works. It always works in our head, Ruben. Did you see it skip? You yep. heard that little hop. That killed the whole speed iron. Start starting to cool off. You did have the table in the sun earlier. He told me on the phone he was warming this, this it up. This might work, by the way. Now I'm just going to have to do a lot of top uh, top right. All right. Similar situation the Tango had. Missed his shot with a lot of inside trying to get after something here. Good breakout. Let's get the breakout. Almost, almost both of them. But now he's got a tie up. All right, I'm going to go for the uh, side. Good contact. You need the pool guys to help you out on those shots a little bit. And now I can break this out. Yep, set that up nicely. 
Yeah, I want to welcome everybody that's joining us. Thanks for supporting uh, our match right now. Yeah, we are streaming on both channels, Roopster 760 and Heads Up, so make sure you hit the thumbs up on both. Make sure you're subscribed on both. Oh, I was trying tried to, to get the breakout. Yep, that's yep. going to be a missed shot there. Yep, makeable miss. Yes, sir. Number two. And they wanted to come back on me. Tango picking back up on the reds here. He did get the breakout. He gets a lot of bounce off them rails, Ron. Yeah, he does. And I'm he gets a you. lot of bounce. Wow. I'm telling you, man, those things are springy. Yeah, they are. Almost went three rails back out to the that red over there. He's got a good shot. This will be tough to hold, I think, but. Got to play it at. See, that's the. Yeah, I think he takes that into consideration too. When you with the with the rails that he just tried to roll Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yep. That's going to go back over to Ruben. That'll be a makeable shot miss there for Tango. Both guys trading some makeables, giving each other some chances. Yep. Who wants it more? Kind of deal. I'll tell you right now, I want it more. <laughs> yep. But man, Ruben's, like I said, Ruben's in a tough, we're going to remember that shot whether. For the good shot it was, or for the moment in time of that match, Ruben, I don't mind giving it to you, but uh, you got to earn it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got oh, no, to. I want to earn it. I want to earn it. Trust me. If I know Tingle, you got to pry it from his dead cold hands. Let me see his layout real quick. Yeah, let's take a look over at uh, Tingle's table. I'm out, Ruben. Oh, you're out. From there. <laughs> He's out that's, from there. That's right. All right. All right. This, this is going to be a touchy shot because I'm going to be trying to avoid that corner pocket. So I'm going to go for the uh, yellow in the side, and I'm going to try to avoid the scratch, unfortunately. All right. I'm trying to thin this yellow here. Three remain. With some wow, heavy – oh, four remain. I'm sorry. Now three remain. Heavy inside English. Great shot, though. Yep. Little Little gamble paid off for him. Yep. Yeah, you see the the uh, English I put in, so I could come back out, and unfortunately I land over here where I was hoping to come all the way down and have a nice shot at these. Yep, I believe he. All right, uh, red in the corner. Yellow. Yellow in the corner. I do that all the time, man. Well, one of these games, I'm telling you. Do it all the time. Pick a color, any color. Ooh, oh, not an easy shot, folks. Tried to I need, I need an angle on this one. get back in line. So this uh, this is the first rack we've seen some hiccups from both guys. I'm off and, from uh, here, Daniel. And of course, it's it's on the on the rack when they're tied up. So we've right. seen how important this kind of rack can be, Ron. Uh, we've seen it against with with uh, you and Gizmo, that That's trench old. warfare rack we talk about. Bump on the right. yellow to hold. Tango looking to take his first lead of the night. He's been trailing ever since the opening bell. I'm sorry. No, second lead of the night. That's right. So scratch on the eight ball for Ruben. Decides to go behind it. Mm. All right. I think he's going to be okay. He can make it. Cue ball is going to move. Looks like he's lining up for the side yep. pocket. Yep. Going for the side. Thin oh. slice, thin to win. Nice thin to win. Good cut to the side. Very, very nice. Yep. Let's up four to three. Yep. 
So second lead of the night. This one was the first one that was earned, though, Ron. Yep. Still a great match. Still anybody's match, that's for sure. But like you said, you know, that was kind of the trench warfare rack. And sometimes coming out of that, you know, does uh, does lend to uh, a mental advantage at times. You know, sometimes yeah. that can be the the swing in the match. So we'll see. We'll see how how Ruben answers. And uh, I believe it's Ruben's break. And so we'll we'll see how he answers coming back. Whose break is it? It's going to be yours. You are. This is rack number eight. You're on the evens. All right. Good shooting. Tango. Thank you. Yep. Tango back in this thing. He's trying to break and run and tie it all up. Yep. Both guys have had back to back. Both guys have put up a break and run and table runs. Red ball down on the side. Ball number five. Another good tough layout. Yeah, good spread. Really good spread. A couple of challenging ones there. Depending on which way you go with it. All right, unfortunately, I'm going to go with the yellows. All right. They've all got a pocket. It's just going to be negotiating the rack to get it there. So, Stop shot gives him options. You can go either way on the table. I think the eight ball is the toughest shot on the table. Yeah, I would, I would agree with you. Not sure. I'm going to have to get behind it to get it in the side or the corner pocket or break it out of there some, somehow, some way. Right. Guys have been maneuvering through the racks pretty nicely tonight. Actually, that's a tough yellow there, too. It's got a block or not. Uh... Three yellows remain. Yourself an opportunity to get there, yeah. Right. Well, if I can nail this right here, this window, I'll go into the window business. Yeah, it's a well. A you, you you go hand in hand with Gizmo then, doors and windows. All right, here goes corner. All right. He is not. All right, I'm gonna two putt. I'm gonna just make the red and have a nice shot at the yellow. Hopefully. All right, that is that is an option for sure. Going for the two putt. That's a good punt there. Yep, very good two putt. All right, I'm nice. It's gonna put him one for one on the two putt. Only a dry break can save me now. Yep. Right. Tango put Red some ball power ball. into that one. Ooh, we see an issue. The yellow and the red over by that corner. Yep, that's the only 
only issue though that I see, really. But that Probably continues his high run again, split. doesn't it, Darren? I believe so. What is he sitting at right now? It's a good question. It is a good question. Yeah, well, bro, I should have broke that window right there. No, Who'd you give on the spread there, Ron? I would I would give it to JR in this case. Oh. I mean he's only got close. one yeah, he's only got one tied up and it, it was close, but I think Ruben had a couple more trouble areas there to work through. Did he have a break in what was his last? Oh, numbers, numbers, numbers. All right. Can I see Ruben's table? Yes. I'm not here. Let me jump on over there. So I'm out from here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank Good. you. All right. Let me switch back. My bad. All right. Red inside. Good shot. Great bank. And by the way, Darren, he that is uh, ball number five for him. It's ball number. F so he had four in the previous rack? Nice he, had, he had three in the previous rack. He had the two three. down on okay. the end and the eight ball. So that makes ball number five with the, the make. And okay. Cool. Thank you. You sure does. Nice cut there for JR. Yep. Those, those rails, wow. Amazing the amount of bounce he gets out of those rails. I, I'm a little jelly over the bounce on those. Right. On those rails. And those things. Those things just throw that ball off the rail. Corner. Good back cut. Tough spot to be in. Yes, tough spot to be in. Yeah, this is going to be the shot right here. In the corner. Drills it. Drills it. And he nails it. Drills it. Yep. A little bit. A little bit of a what tester a there. Shot. Yep. That. That's the kind of. That's a stroke test shot. Corner. All right. Absolutely. Look at this natural, speed. natural tape here. Natural eight angle for the eight ball. Pop. Yep. Eight ball looks to be going in the same pocket. <clears throat> in the corner. Good 
Oh, great out, JR. Angle with good finish. What was a slow start. Ends up with four. That's a steal. And that continues his run. So I believe that puts him at 11 on his run. Okay, 11. I'll keep that in mind. Yep. Thank you for keeping me on task. That's why we called yep. Ron. I had to I had to go back and look myself, buddy. So Yeah, for sure. I was like skipping through it. Yep. So that's going to put Tango up five racks to three. He was down three racks to one. Um, so he has four unanswered racks here. And, you know, Ruben's, it's, Ruben's been shooting good too. He had a, uh, he had a little, little two pack he put up earlier, but he's been quiet since then. So Tango's kind of taken over the momentum. Yep. We felt it shift. Uh, we talked about that rack three, three, where things can really start to get away from you. Uh, what do you see out there, Ron? Let me fix the banner. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's it's the just the little things, you know. Ruben, uh, both of them trying to manufacture things, but you know, uh, Jr. I think is finding his correct. Jr. I think is finding his stride and his stroke here. He's good and warm now, and uh, he's minimalizing those mistakes. And the break is definitely helping him. And so, uh, you know, I think that uh, I think that that's what he's able to capitalize on at this point. So it's going to be Tango's break, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes. Eight, nine, and then let's see. Well, there's something I was going to ask, but it's all good. So that was that was the last one. Was the Tango that he was that a break and run? Yes. That was yes. A break and run. Okay. That was a break and run. So that's going to be number three for him tonight. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because, yeah, because the high run continued. Sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Tango's high run sitting at 13. Looking to increase. 11. It's 11, I'm sorry. <clears throat> that's right. Three to eight. Got him 11. Drilling eight ball going four balls, five eight balls. Eight ball. Great. Wow. Plus the eight. The eight is spotted. We'll see if that hurts him. Oh, my God, folks. Let me record some of this stuff. Crushed it. He just he just doubled his balls down on one shot with ten going from five to ten. That is a monster break, Ron Johnson. And, yes, and of course, absolutely. He, he doesn't have a clean shot on the rats. <laughs> yeah. That sometimes is the issue. And then also with the eight ball getting spotted didn't harm him, but sometimes that can be an issue. Not tonight. Um, he's got good cue ball placement to start. He does have a, an option or two. But yep. like you said, for uh, putting fall, five balls down the break, he really didn't get the, the best treatment to start. So, No, it's, it's workable, but uh... – you know, it, it just depends on what, what direction he decides to go here, you know. Unbelievable. We're going to start with that combination, guys. All right, All right combination. Yellow, yellow. All right. Nobody likes to start with them, but when you don't have a choice. Correct. There it is. Things that make you go that. And he nice. nails it. Jeez, this rack's almost over. For it yep. looks like you it looks like you were playing with somebody on your table. Right. You got three reds down too. That opens things up for sure. You know, now it's uh now it's just control and maneuver. Tries to get himself back out to center. Yep. He's just a tad bit off on all three shots, but I think he can make it work. Right. This would put Tango on the hill. He is sitting at five racks right now, five to three, race to seven.
That's interesting. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It's it's one of those shots where you're slightly off on all three of your options. On all you know, on all three are makeable. Oh yeah. But they just don't leave you anything after you make one of them. Yep. So, so we're yeah, we're about point. to be in. I think they call it no man's land. This was the only issue I was oh, thinking about man. here, and that was the scratch. Oh, it rolls out. Look at that. It's a bar roll there. Right. Back over to Ruben. So, it's so high that run. ends. Yep, that but, ends his high run at uh, 15. All right, so. He Almost matched his yeah. previous. If there's ever a steal I need to come with, it's this one right here. Yeah. Because we just hey, see the best uh, Nice right? shooting, by the way. I think if you would have made it, you would have scratched. So I think you're better off by missing it. Yeah, it's it's rare that we end up with a break in the highlight reel, and, and tonight we'll have one. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's by I far I think the best break this year for yeah, anyone. I agree. I haven't seen a third of the rack put down an eight ball break in a long time. Red down. Two reds down. No, nope. that one no, stays it up. No, stays up for him. Another. That actually could be a blessing in disguise here. Uh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. That's going to be ball number six for Ruben. Both guys were tied at five balls down on the break until Tango had the monster break there. Ruben not out of this yet. Yep, he's got a couple of challenges, but if he can. I'm going to try to remove this just in case I get over here. All right. Get the magic rack out of the way. It's a game of operation sometimes. We're good. Yep, you got it. Yeah, see a couple trouble areas, but if you can negotiate it, then I think that's the shot right there. Ooh, rolled up a little bit too much. Yep, yep. I think it overrolled just a little on him. Oh, I'm just gonna use it to his advantage. And it pays off for him, Ron Johnson. Absolutely. Red opens up, gets pushed towards the corner pocket for the duck. Pulls, the, pulls that pulls that eight ball back up to center table for him too. Gets it out of the traffic. So and I think you have to get aggressive right now. Can't wait for Tango to mess up. No, because there hasn't been a lot of that in these last few games. So That's right. That's up for the red in the bottom right corner. Yep. Natural position for the red up table. Then it's a matter of getting getting shape on the eight and where to take it. Bouncy house rails. Yep, I was worried about this situation. I think 
thankfully avoids it. Yeah. It's one of those things where you don't look at the angle. I don't want to risk the loop on here because look at this. It only has half a pocket. Yeah. I don't want to risk being up perfect on that window. All right, this is it. But he comes out of it. Yep, eight ball side pocket to stay in this thing. There, there it is. It Get out, Ruben. Is. Get out, Ruben. Ruben's not going away quietly. And that is a steal. That is a steal because that was a monster a break, and you would have definitely favored Tingo to get out of that one. So, yep. Put it as a steal. It's Ruben's second steal of the night. Let me change the yeah, banner. Yeah. If anybody out there wants to lose a couple of years to your life and want to join us and play this, <laughs> this thing, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Get the experience at all live. So just uh, – Everybody's more than welcome to uh, play with us. Yep, definitely get your blood pumping having uh, people watch you play. And uh, Ron Johnson, you want to talk about those trophies you got back there, real quick? Oh yeah, someone was asking. Yeah, that. so it, yeah, I saw Pool Hub would, had mentioned it. So those are those are trophies from uh, another series of of online pool that we we have through Backyard Billiards, his King of the Hill stuff and he he does uh some eight nine and, and ten ball and uh so those are the nice trophies that uh for those that are fortunate enough to go through and and win a king of the hill match which is usually a few rounds of of matches to be able to get to a, a final or a king of the hill final then uh chuck graciously bestows a, a nice little trophy on us and and uh so I've been fortunate to be able to to grab a couple of those along the way, as has others that are out here in our community. So, and uh, you know, along with his format and a couple of other formats, you know, we uh, we've just got a great community of folks out here. You know, that we're able to, as as uh, Darren so graciously puts it, practice with purpose. You know, and uh, we've got all skill levels and people that uh just enjoy the game you know as as much as everybody else and we're we're just willing to put it out there a little bit and test our skill you know and and uh give us the opportunity to uh meet some great folks all across this country as well so and, and um, world by the way we, we got our friend out there in australia that joins us as well ab ab absolutely we've had we've had other countrymen jump in and, and shoot with us so and that's a lot of fun as well. Yeah, no doubt. So it's cool to be able to play pool with uh, some buds on the other side of the planet or just, you know, other parts of the country. So uh, opportunities you might not get, you know, any other way. So uh, yep. it just kind of works out. It kind of satisfies the palate a little bit for pool. And you don't got to go anywhere to play. You just play right in your own house if you got a table. Absolutely. All right, rack number 10. Tango leads five racks to four. Race Ooh, to seven. narrowly misses the. It's going to be a try. the scratch. Break. Wow. A second <laughs> try break of the evening for Ruben. We'll go back over to Tango. Tango coming off okay. a monster break. Five balls down on the break. Can he break a third of the rack again? Let's see. Had the eight ball down as well last rack. All right, yellow side. He's got the, he's got that eight ball moving quite a bit tonight. Uh, Ooh, tough, tough spot to be in. I like how he's using the diamond rack too. I just noticed that. What'd you have? Two down? I think I only got one. Just the one. Okay, that's gonna bring your ball count to eleven. Yeah, yellow. All right, yellow. Yeah, more than welcome to get involved anytime there, Pool Hub. Thanks for uh, 
joining us. Yep. Tough place to start from here. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. For JR, just trying to. Yeah, it'll be his, out. his toughest start of the night. Yep. And a, a challenging layout, even after he figures the first shot out. Mm -hmm. Didn't right. the first shot out. Kind of ends up ends up bunching a few things up. It was no sh easy shot to make back over to Ruben. Yep, definitely not. Both guys with and, one uh, of them challenging uh, guys, We are streaming this on both channels, so we are on Rooster 760 and the uh, Heads Up Pool on YouTube. So if you might not see the other people's chat, you might be on the other channel. But right. other than that, like I said, we do welcome everybody that's joining us. The reason we're doing this is because we're having a lot of new eyeballs to our format, so we want to make sure we capture everybody out there. For sure. And you want to make sure you're you're catching all the action. A lot of times uh, we'll do this dual stream. Usually when Ruben's on stream, obviously he wants it on his channel and, and heads up. The format itself is primarily played on the heads up channel, so just make sure you're Locked in the bolts so you don't miss any of the action. All right. Uh, I wish I was in a better spot on this one. But I'm going to go for the yellows. This one's going to be a tough one, so keep an eye, keep an eye out for that one. All right. I'm surprised there's a window there. Okay, the way I'm shooting right now, I might end up right here if I go for this one. <laughs> you guys ever feel like that? Yeah, Chuck, you can go ahead and drop that link in there for your Facebook if you need to. Drop, yeah. drop it in the chat. Yellow as it is. Mm -hmm. So, no easy shot here. Left with some tough, tough options. Yeah, I was hoping to be a little straighter on this, but I was afraid of bumping this eight ball and blocking this. I'm still good. It's just this thin shot that I'm going to have to play this rail, and I'm going to have to play two rails on this one. With yellow on the side. All right, cue ball's moving. Yep. He did negotiate around it. I don't know if he's been in any better of a position after the shot was done. Yeah. There's still some challenging shots here. Got five five balls on the table here. I'm not sure if the one in the lower left hand of your screen goes. I think it does. Probably your best option if it does. It's a bad rose right here. Good call there. Like Bob Johnson says, I used all that. Money. Yep, there you a, go. Got a perfect bump there off the red. I didn't realize I was going to have to call a bank. <laughs> exactly. So this this is the shot right here that might win for me. I got to be perfect right here and then bump out the red. So he's got two tables at his house there, pool hub. He's got a that nine-foot diamond you're talking about, and he's got the bar box. Both guys are playing on the seven-footer, and I believe Tango also has a nine-footer. Both guys have pulled two – Two pool tables, which is great. It's a great position to be in. A lot of guys don't even have one table. Yep. Three yellows remain. Ruben, look at the time. Oh. 
Yeah. I think he wanted to bump there. How does I think that happen? Did. I think he's still going to be able to get at you, it. I think you. I think you went in the window business, Ruben. Yeah, I, I went in the business window business, and I don't want to be in the window That's business. That's right. I think you found the one crack in that window. Right. Well, now you're in the banking industry. Right. Uh, yep. I think that he. It, it's going to be hard for him to hold it. That's going to be the challenge. But uh, I think he's got a window there. Yep. It's a big rack here. This will tie things up at five. Ruben can get away with this one. Yeah, I like this bank. I mean, he's favored to make it. <clears throat> I think he gets natural position here. It's a natural I angle. Off this. That's the problem. All right. I think I think I could do it without fouling, so I'm gonna go for the cut. I don't okay. have. I don't oh, he can make it. Because they're a little, uh, they're a little either, uh, hit. either way, he gets back out to center nicely, I think. Oh, man. Oh, clip that red. Now he's in trouble here. He's got some decisions to make. Yes, he does. Red, eight ball in the corner. All right, going for a thin cut. Extra thin. Looking to put a little black this, on that white this ball. Is a, this is a dry and run, I believe, if he finishes this eight off. Correct. I think you're right. All right. We all know that it cannot scratch, right? <laughs> we see it. <laughs> That doesn't mean that the pool gods may not frown on you. Yeah, that's the issue. It's it's thin. The cue ball is going to be little, moving. A little right. spin on it. Yeah, you really got to. I'm telling you, there's no pocket. There's no way it goes in there. All right, corner. I'm going to go for the cut. All right, final last words. Just give me a shot. Just give me a shot. Nice. So it ends up being a good two yep. putt. It ends up being leaving him good. I'm out from here, Daniel. Yeah, I think you might be out from there. I'll take your word on that one. I think he's got a chance. Did you call a pocket or was it two putt? <laughs> no, he called the pocket. Okay. He called the cut. So it just yeah, ended up it, working man. out that way. All right, yep. cool. Let's go back over to Tango. Sorry about that, guys. Got a lot of here. Tango, he's got a tough table. He does. Definitely puts the pressure here. Yeah. Definitely take, puts the pressure here. Right take your time. Yep, I saw that coming. Gets into it. Does he get he a did. favorable outcome? I think wow, he did. What a shot, you know. Might be able to carry him. I think I think that he got a good break Brilliant. out there. Cool. That was definitely key. Yeah. All right. Well, yep. not out of the woods yet. No, but he's you know, okay. Yep. Smart play because he's still alive. Yep. He just got. Okay. He's got a couple long shots. Red in the corner. Yes, sir. Straight as an arrow. Beautiful shot. Yeah, he's made a couple of good shots tonight. Yep, good stroke Watch. on that. Then 
this shot's going to tell us a lot here. off the yellow i think he's all right i think he is i think you can still see the red the red to that the red tied to that yellow there and i think it goes to the corner. yeah it, it goes it's fine all yep. right three reds left and welcome everybody that's joining us we got 27 watching from rooster 760. jeez Finds the window too. Yep, makes a good shot there. Beautiful shot, beautiful angle. Tough transition here. Gets what the bump and the stay. What a shot. Yep. What a shot. Yeah, because if that thing would have come just straight right across and he got behind those yellows, you know, you just never know. Yeah, I think uh, good, the bump, good bump on the yellows and rub. was the best thing he could have done, huh? Ab absolutely. That was the smart play. I like it. He's all right. He's all right. Yeah, I think he's still got a shot there. No, I just wanted to make sure that yellow wasn't in play. Yep. Is that hole uh, there? You come across. Yeah, for sure. Right. And with this rail you're up here. Well, and especially with spring on your rails too, trying to hold it for a shot back up right. to the corner. I overcooked it a little, but that's okay. It's still got that pocket. Yep. Inside. Looks like you got in a little assist or two if you needed it. Chico's tango on the hill. Racks to four. That is that will end up in the highlight reel as well. Well done. Let's bring everybody back in. First of the hill. Yeah. With a great run, you know, pressure run too. Because Ruben was out. Ruben was out for the tie. So I'm fighting. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's a good there match. You are. It's a great match. Found it. I still can't believe I bumped in. this ball here on this side. You know, the, the key to it was... But that, that was a great out, uh, JR. Yep. Thank you, Ruben. He, he saw the I breakout was, on the first shot, you know. I was, was able to, to execute. Shot, but you definitely uh, earned that one. And it's going to be Tango's break. He's going to have a chance to put this thing away. It's just going to be rack. Number eleven. Is it Tango's break? It is Tango's break. We're going to put him on full screen. Let him rack. And he's on a run of eight at this point, correct? He's on a run of eight, I believe. Yeah, because he started with a fresh rack there. So that was was it a drop? No, that he did have one down. So that's going to be what breaking run number four for him tonight. No, no that was well, that was. Right. We no, right I, I oh, that's in the corner yeah. and tied those balls up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, yeah, it was a little messy to start. I now I remember. Yep. And guess who joins us, knowing that he's on the hill. Look at this timing. I love it. Classic bit. All right, here we go.
one down for sure. It's a nice spread. He froze on ice. You're going to have to get rid of that one now. That's going to be ball number 12 on the break. Half of those came in one turn from Tango a couple racks ago. Had a five ball break. I think the first time I've ever seen it on our virtual streams. And if you guys haven't seen this match, go to Heads Up Pool. It was a great match. Don't forget to miss watching it. Right, Ron? It was a great match, sir. Sets us up, sets us up for a great rematch. Yeah, I recommend that match for everybody to watch. Yeah, I think that's going to be the third uh, Ron Johnson and Gizmo 3. I mean, I would imagine it was good. Rocky 3 was pretty sweet. We are going to have a trilogy on that one, but you guys have to go see one of the greatest outs. All right, going with the yellows. Getting aggressive. Yep, trying to trying to get the bump out there. Yeah. And I think maybe later we'll find out if that did help him. So. Yeah, he's. Got rid of half the problem. Wow. Wow. The, the bounce. Oh, man. My goodness. It's like it was shot out of a gun. I uh, mm -hmm. I won't be available next Sunday. Trying to break it out again. Mm. Uh. It's, me it's messy out there, folks. It is. This last rack is not going to be easy here for Tango. It's not. He, he would not want it any other way. I think he's trying to see if he can get the the bump rub, the ticky. The ticky icky <laughs> This is the shot. I'm going to try it. All right, he's calling the corner. He knows I'm up from here. <laughs> Nothing else that's going to open up. Nope. Didn't mm. get underneath of it. Oh, no. Or not. Well, Left himself really tough. Not All favorable right, so for sure. I basically have to break it around this one, break it around on the next one, and then. Pray that he doesn't break the run out of me, but I want to stay alive, right? Yeah, yep. I, I think that pretty much encapsulates it, Ruben. Couldn't have said it better ourselves. All right, wish me luck. Especially right now, the last thing I want to do is give him ball in hand. I don't want him ball in hand because he's in a bad spot right now. No ball in hand. That's so correct. Don't yeah, whatever you do, don't do that. Wait. That's awful. Hold on. Uh, let me dig in deep, get my powers to be. Look at the there source. There you go. That. I've All been right, saying. I recharge now. Backwards hat chuck is the most feared. Okay. 
Most feared version of Chuck. Yellow down in the corner. Yellow down. Probably his That's, best spread of the night. He does. That was one a of them. good spread. Yep. With the ball one down. Of, he's had several good spreads on the break, you know. So yeah. there's, yeah. you know, the ball, those two right there, you know, are, are basically his tie up on this table right now. Yep. I think he can negotiate pretty much everything else. But uh, yeah, if I have this most side pockets, I'll be looking good. But this quick bathroom ball, break round. I'll be right back. Go All anywhere. right, buddy. So we'll let Ruben take a look at the rack here and figure out which way he feels is going to be his best solution. All right, I think I see it. So I need to angle and bump this either on the rail or the yellow on the rail. So the touch is going to be the same. But I need to be right here. Right on this side. All right, buddy. He might have got there. Now I just need to rub the yellow on the rail. Open up this rail for here. And then I, I do have a couple of ducks over here, so I'm good with those. Right. Shot I've done tonight. Oh, I knew that, that was going to happen, so that's why I didn't hit it as far. He tried to get the rubster off of it. And he, that's all he got was a rubster. <laughs> Avoided the corner it's pocket. Like I knew he did. It was the, the tangent yeah. pointed me this way. Yeah, any harder, and he was giving it back to Jr. Fortunately, fortunately, he still has a shot. Fires that one in there, definitely with a Thor tie. <laughs> I was in a bad spot over here. I did not want to slow roll anything right now. I need this ball. I don't know if I, I don't even want to bank this. Oh, well, if I bank it, I got that eight ball there. Ends up on the pro side there of uh, one of his trouble reds. Yep. Three reds remain. That one's the tough one. Corner. 
and she goes cut across. Looks like he could have a bank shot here. Yeah, now I think he's got decisions to make. Yeah. Cross side. Mm. Oh, just barely. Just missed it. Yep. Nope. Just caught shot. the tip. Go back over to Tango. Tango finds himself in a tough spot here, trapped behind a red. He is working on the yellows. Yeah, definitely a tough place to be. I'm going to try the bank. That has to be the thinnest bank I've ever tried in my life, but that's all I got, boys. All right. All righty. Off the red what and the in. Hip. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, and it stayed up. Wow. Wow. Man. Yes. Barely avoided the scratch and almost had the had the make to boot. And look at he's just smiling ear to ear now, folks. Look at that villain smile. He thinks he might have it here. I'm crying, man. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm going to have to go for that. I don't want to go for this cut right here. Even though this is the shot, the way my table plays. See, right here, I shoot over this yellow. And then I have to use the uh, rails, which, as you guys know, my rails are, are shot. I'm going to go for that one. You know what? So he was slightly oh, elevated yeah. over a yellow. Yep. All right, All right, like a, here. Yeah, it looks like a do or die situation here for Tango. Move on. Been perfect. Yeah. That ball me away. And I'll tell you what, Ron. I was shooting over the ball. I favor Tango to get out here. I still don't know why that ball's still hanging. If I, if he can see that first yellow, I, I favor him to get out of this. It, I think he's got a little bit of work, but I think it is doable for sure. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, I was shooting over the yellow. I, was, I didn't want to be behind the yellow on, on that shot. Yeah, that was a tough shot, Ruben. Shooting over a ball is never any joy on a pool table. Nope. Jacked up over the yellow. Yeah, thank you, everybody, that's joining us on this Sunday. Trying to stay alive here. Tango is on the hill. Ooh. Oh. That's all I had. Yeah, that's all I had. Shot. Yep. Let's Very move close. it back over to Ruben. So obviously didn't have not didn't have enough there to put the yellow in, try it for a little spin maybe. Oh no, man. He might be going to the sky. When it has to hit, it doesn't hit. When it doesn't want to hit, it doesn't hit. Air Ruben coming up. Yeah. I think he's going to request for a flyby. So. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna be happy uh, with that. Right now. that one, yeah, that one was just all of, all about the speed. He just kind of maybe babied that one. Like it was right here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for the jump cut. All right, to stay in this thing. Let me see his table real quick. Let's take a look at Tango's table. See what we got going on here, Tango in a much better position this time around. Four yellows remain. Two ducks. Okay. Back over to Ruben. This ball would actually stop me from jumping off the table. The only problem is I hope that yellow doesn't jump off the table. Eight in the side for the All right. toughest shot of the night. Hector, not that I know of. As far as virtual pool, this is the match. So unless Ruben's going live later on tonight, too. All right, dude. Eight at the side. Hector Diaz, thanks for joining us. And a ball in hand oh, for Tango. No. That could be... The dagger. Let's see if Tango can take advantage of that. That's going to be foul number four for Ruben tonight. It was a good jump, but an unfortunate scratch afterwards. Yeah, it yeah, was really the positioning bad. beforehand, as we've seen, he just got tucked behind a yellow. I still can't believe he nope. did not bump that ball down there. Ball in hand for Tango. He's going to think this through. He knows he can close this thing out here on his last turn. Sitting at six racks to four. If you guys are just getting here, we've had a lot of good action tonight. This is a rematch from a few months ago. It leads us up to the big match with Marco. Yep. Winner is going to play Marco. We haven't seen Marco in a while. While he checks that one out, don't forget to check out that match over at Heads Up Pool. Oh, you too. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> right. You actually, you actually freaked me out for a second. I'm thinking the same thing. Like, what? <laughs> you want to see my table? Yeah, I'll I'll take I'll take ball in hand. All right, three yellows left. He finds himself in a tough spot. Oh, no, oh. Oh. not making the best use of a ball in hand. Three yellows left. Yeah, I think I would have gone for that one first. Well, I mean, if you end up here, you're good. But uh, right. Right. Can't roll that far. Yeah. Just a little roll. Rolled past his line. Come on. What we're pushing is the rematch, the, the thrill of the energy. That's why Ron Johnson's commentating, because he. We're pushing you guys' match. <laughs> That's the next match we're hoping to see. We're not going to wait another year for that match. That's for sure. <laughs> we're not going to wait another month for that match. That's for sure. We're not going to wait three weeks for that match. That's for sure. <laughs> we're not going to wait two weeks for that match. Combination. Oh, and he makes a beautiful. But he tied it up, though. He tied beautiful it up. shot, but yep. He tied it up. It got tied it is, up. It is tied wow. up. Wow, that was a that was a great effort, though. Shots fired. <laughs> 
Gizmo and Ruben always going at it, always at each other's throats. It's a traveling circus, these two. Normally, it's part of our Three Stooges routine. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Wolf. The words right out of my mouth. <laughs> What's his table look like? Let's take a look at it. He's out. Yeah, he's in the kitchen with a shot at the eight ball. So you got to finish this one out to, to end Ooh. it. Are you out from there, Ruben? I'm out, dude. I got bottled in here. <laughs> yep. So All it's right, going to hell Mary time. You know what? I'm not going to have a whole lot to say on this one. I am on the wrong side of this. Get some movement. Hi, yep. Try yep. to use Can... those bouncy rails to my advantage. Yep. I think you might have had a had a good chance at it too. I had it not clipped that red. If you yeah. get, if you'd have got another it rail and got there. back around there, it was headed that way. Next question is: How much does this table drift to the right? And if you guys are wondering what match that was, it was this one right here. And with friends like these, who needs enemies? Just let us know what you're doing, JR. <laughs> nah, there's nothing there, man. I'll be lucky if I hit it. What? He's trying to just make a contact, I guess. No, I got to make it somewhere. Gotta, yeah, you got to call it. I just don't know where. You ever been in that situation where you just don't know where? Absolutely. Just rub some dirt in it. I was about to say, just rub some dirt in it. That's what Grandma <laughs> always used to say. You know what? I we'll go it right here. We got 31 people watching us on Rooster 760. 32. Wow. Business is picking up. Well, it was a valiant effort. Yeah, that was uh that was tough. Yep. All right, you got from there though. He made a good hit, just you know, where where can you get it to move? All right. Ruben's going to wrap this thing up here in the side pocket. I'm going to go for the toughest pocket on the table. All right. Sure. There it is. There it is. Bring it back out to everybody. <clears throat> that was uh, one of the longer racks, it seemed like. Stay alive, Mr. Stay alive. It was. Yep. Even longer than the three three tie track, I, I believe. That one that one took a little bit to negotiate. And that's gonna put Ruben at five. Tango leads six to five. And if you guys just got here, um every match we do has a purpose. Uh, the winner of tonight's match is looking to play Marco. If you guys have never seen Marco play, 
He's one of our top shooters on our formats. So we're trying to get a, a match with Marco. So the winner of tonight plays Marco. And that match is not going to be easy for either one of us. So uh, it doesn't, doesn't look like either one of your guys' journey is getting any easier is what you're trying to say. Definitely not. Marco's the best. Right, my break. Who wants that misery? Go ahead. It's your break. <clears throat> you are on the evens. This is rack number 12. And like I said, um, we're hoping to get that match between uh, Ron Johnson and Gizmo for the Thrillogy soon. We're either going to do, I guess, uh, Marco versus the winner of tonight's match or Ron Johnson versus Gizmo. But we really don't want to wait that long, Gizmo. Usually people wait a year to play Gizmo, but I would think he would want his rematch since after that last match. All right. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Take it away. I'm not entertained. <laughs> you are one rack from tying this thing up, man. Get on the hill. Let's see if we can do it. And it's nice seeing everybody out there enjoying this match with us. Yeah, a lot of people joining us tonight. That ball was going in the side. All right. It's going Good to be spread. a dry break. Nice spread. Yeah. Let's go back over to Tango. He's all racked up for us. He's sitting on the hill. He had an opportunity to end this thing last rack. Got a little out of I'm not scratching, I'm good. That's going to be dry break number three for Ruben. All right. Another good break there. Two balls down, two balls center of the table. A couple that, of issues. Yeah. That's going to bring Tango's ball count to 14. Five of those were in one turn. Yep, he had three balls down there. Three balls, I'm sorry. That's yep. going to bring his count to 15. <clears throat> Yeah, whatever happens tonight, JR, I'm having a great time playing you. Thank you for the match. My pleasure, Ruben. It's always, always fun to play it. Right in the corner. Speed control there. Try to set him up. Tango getting it with the reds. Looks like that red's going to go. Yeah, I think he's trying to tackle the the tough red on the table right a, right away. I see uh, Tango working with the diamond template for the eight ball rack, too. thought that was pretty interesting. Seems to have worked out pretty well from him. Oh, Good code. Man, he narrowly avoids that. Yeah, comes out safe. All Flirting picking, with it. Picking your shots now, Ron Johnson. You can see the finish line from here. Yep. Yeah, it's just a matter of controlling, staying on the right side, and uh, negotiating the table. Three reds left. Pulled it back up to get a little angle on that. Perfect. 
perfect. Good Look speed. How do you hit it? How do you hit it? Looking to seal the deal right here, lining up the yep. eight ball. Rolls up there for the eight. Eight's going to go in your top right hand corner. Yes, sir. For the win. And there it is. Folks. Good Tango. finish, JR. Tango putting it down. Yep, you good dog. finish. He, he left a glint of hope for Ruben there for a minute. Just a little hope. Yep. And then Ruben broke dry. Man. But either way, that was the, the type of match we wanted to see tonight. It wasn't my night, unfortunately. I mean, I was fighting back to uh, try to gain a little bit more dignity from you, but you took it back, man. That was a, that was a break and run as well. It yeah, was. that was a break and run. Yeah. So that was actually another steal as well. Was that a steal? Oh, because, yeah, because the, the dry. Yeah, I broke dry, and he needed to steal that one. All right. Yeah, and um, we could go back to that one shot, that kick shot that I said. We're either going to say it was a great shot, or we're going to say that was the turn of the night, and it ended up being the turn of the night. There, you want to show them that shot real quick? <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll get to it. I don't know where it is in my lineup as far as uh, in the highlights, but uh, we'll take a look at it by the scores here, by the numbers, final scores. We said Thanks, Russell. Tangle with a seven to five victory. He was down at one point, three racks to one. Uh, it was looking like Ruben could have been up four racks to nothing. Ruben started off with what was looking like. Yeah, the first game that I scratched. Oh, hey, thanks, Trey. You want to come say hi? <laughs> Made uh made an error and got uh Tango on the board first. Tango was down three racks to one, and then uh Tango came back, kind of took over at that point. Uh, had a couple, had a, a three or four unanswered games, breaking runs. Take a look at it. Four for Tango. I think he did register a two pack earlier with a high run of sixteen balls. Ruben no slouch himself. Did have a breaking run and a dry run that came in a two pack. Uh, one of those was assisted. I think Tango had an assisted as well. He had a high run of 20 balls. Ruben did have her high run. Yeah, man, I had more breaking runs than that. Did you? Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, uh, we'll have to go and look. But, we'll well, look well, but either way, I think I, I do remember uh, getting a couple of them, especially <laughs> when he gave me ball in hand. Yeah. Um, well, you have five wins, so you'd have had three out of the five then that you were saying. We'll have to go back and look. I, I might have lost track of, of them. I have you down for a break and run and a dry and run. Um, we'll adjust it later. If you find something, let me know. I'll make I'll Yeah, make that, that high run kind of saves it. Yeah, for sure. Well, we know that this these two were in a row. So that was that's this was the break and run, the dry and run, plus some for the uh for the high run of twenty. But in any event, uh two makeable shots missed from each guy. <clears throat> so pretty even there. I thought uh, most of the night these guys made the shots they were supposed to four fouls there for, from Ruben uh, two from Tango, uh, a few of them on the break uh, scratches um, steals tonight, two apiece. piece. Uh, we got spreads. I ended up giving the last one obviously went to Tango. So these guys were pretty much even <coughs> spreads tonight. I had them six a piece dry breaks three for Ruben. One for Tango, balls down on the break. Fifteen for Tango. Five of them came in a monster break. We'll take a look at it in a second here. Absolutely. Uh, seven for Ruben. Two putts. One of uh, both guys at 100. percent I only recorded one each. Uh, one for one for both. But if you take a look at it by the numbers, I mean, you got it pretty dead even. Um, Ruben just a couple more fouls, uh, and then not as many, uh, not as effective on the break as we've seen him in his runs. So the leading up to this match. So hell of a game though. Seven, five victory. Any questions on the numbers besides you might have another break and run or something? No, I mean, the, uh, the, the, uh, the stats says it all. Uh, the fouls got me, the dry breaks, uh, got me. And of course the great shooting from Tango got me with those four break and runs. 
Especially, like I said, the uh, steals. Where are the steals at? Two yeah, you can imagine the break and runs, top the, the plus the two steals. I mean that, and especially that one shot that we keep talking about, where he had to kick that ball. That was a crucial, crucial time because I believe he came back four games in a row on me on that one. Yeah, that's where it all started. So it was looking. Yep. It was tough. It was a tough start for Tango. He only had a high run of you know three balls in the early in the early going to this thing, and then yeah, he was able to first four get, games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the kind of match I look forward to, Tango. As you know, I'm not a quitter. I mean, even if, though I lost, I'm ready to go on that table right now if anybody wants. <laughs> and right. I'm not looking for the easy match either. I'm not looking to see who lost so I can call him out. All right, we'll take a look at some of the, the shots of the night. No particular order as usual. Let's take a look at this one here from Ruben. Nice off yeah. of the yellow here. That's going to get Ruben on the board, which he should have been in the rack before. He did have the foul on the eight. This gets yep. him on the board here. So nicely done. Let's take a look at this one here. This was a good bank from Tango, a bad position. He would be in trouble after that shot, but good bank nonetheless. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, that kick shot is that one yeah. right there. That was yeah. it right there. So this is overall shot of the night because you you see here that he's he's in trouble of even making contact. I mean, look, look at the score right there. He's down three one. Three one, and I gave him that that one by smashing on the eight. Oh, nice shot! Drilled Take a look it. At it one more time. Shot of the night. Absolutely, and done. drilled it with shape. With that shape right is what basically earned you the uh, win tonight, Tango. That right there is all heart, right there. Another bank shot, I believe, from Tango. That yep. one right there. That was good. Right. Start that rack right. out with that shot and get out of trouble. Everything else is in the clear. Yep. Yeah. yeah and I believe go. you got out there too because I, I, I was battling back after you got the lead. All right. So this was uh, the unbelievable break by Tango. Look at this. Five balls down. Look at everything's fine in the pocket. You know, the funny part all is, in the hole. I don't think he got out on that one. And I, no. Did I end up winning that one? Yep. You took this rack. Yeah, this was his best it, break so. of the night. Of Usually course. Those, I mean, the, the, that was really. That's six balls on the break. Is it? Yeah, with the eight balls. No way. One, two, three, oh. four. Wow. It is six balls. Five, six. Break. We stand corrected. Two, four, I'll have to mark six, that one eight. down. Nine. Yeah, six wow. balls. Down. Definitely the most I've ever seen on an eight ball break for virtual pool for sure. So yeah, phenomenal. Well done. Yep. Let's see what else we got. Another shot here by Ruben. Yeah. This is a good out. So this was some of the outs. I thought this was a good red. Yeah, like I, said, I, was fighting, I was fighting for everything right here. And I think Ruben ends up getting this rack. He's down 5 3 here. Yeah, That's I ended up uh, running that out, by the way. Yep. You end up getting that one. And I got then, the eight ball in the side, which I needed to run. Now, every time, like I said, I needed to get out because uh, he was shooting way too good. This was Tango's best out. You could really go through the couple shots before this. It was a pretty nice sequence. Yeah. You see he's got to find this window here. Nice little. Yep. I mean, look rub. at that touch. He worked, he worked a couple of nice bump rubs to keep shape. Yep. To and he kind of him. He's got to avoid this yellow here. So do you go this way or do you go back around? He chose the right way. And then the eight ball goes there. And that's what we have. <clears throat> so that's that's where we're at. So good stream, guys. Good shooting. It was great match. Uh, you know, it was similar to the first time you guys played. It was close. Um, some back and forth, some momentum shifts and uh you know, we never knew how it was going to end. So, any uh, any thoughts from from the shooters? What do you guys think? Um, uh, Tango, like I said, great shooting. Uh, looking forward to uh, your match with uh, Marco. Uh, of course, you know, uh, uh, I wasn't going to cut it tonight if I played him, and uh, you had four breaking runs tonight. So. Keep that momentum going, buddy, and uh, good luck on that match right there. Right. And if you guys never seen Marco play, uh, you guys are missing a lot. It was going to be a great match. For sure. Tango, what are your thoughts, man? How does it feel? You haven't been on stream in a while. 
I haven't been on stream in a while. Um, I always enjoy it, you know, always look forward to it. Uh, you know, this group of people, Ruben, all the California guys, everyone watching, you know, I really appreciate anyone watching, anyone that wants to participate, anyone that wants to throw their hat out there and play with us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on you. It, uh, it challenges in some new ways. And, uh, you know, you won't find a better group of people to play with, to practice with, to spend time with than, uh, than the crew you guys have together. So I appreciate it. Well said, sir. Absolutely. Ron, yeah, three yeah. more. Well, uh, we're we're going to throw a little shout out too. You know, I'm sure you guys understand this families. Um, you know, my family supports me and hanging out in the basement and hours of practice and whatever else and going to pool tournaments and, you know, my wife, Ingrid, my son, Trey, my son, Zane, my daughter, Bree, they, uh, they support me. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure to have people behind you that, uh, that, uh, basically let you revel in your passions. For sure, man. I agree. Uh, I mean, come on, couldn't say it better. Keep that right there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Couldn't have said it better. Absolutely. Yeah, couldn't have said it better, Tango. Like I said, it was, it was an honor to play you. you. You definitely, the reason why we've been doing these matches, like I said, Tango's been on the destruction. Uh, four months ago, he got me. I've been playing better. I've been getting the wins. I've been building my way back up to him. And unfortunately, I came short again. And uh, it'll be good to see him uh, go up against uh, Marco, which is uh, one of our top shooters. Yes, sir. Ron Johnson, any takeaways from the night? Any, any words? Uh, great, great match. You know, I, in the beginning, uh, you know, I, I mentioned that uh, I think the break is going to make a difference. And I, I think that uh, it did in the end a little bit. Um, you know, on the spreads, Jr. once he, you know, once he came to life and, and got warm, you know, the, the four break and runs definitely, I think, were the highlight of the evening. Uh, as Ruben said, you know, the, that, that kick shot, you know, when he was down three to one, um, you know, we've seen it time and time and time again, you know, not only on these streams, but, you know, even in professional matches where sometimes that can that can be the, the one that wakes him up, and, and uh, that did appear to do so again tonight. So congratulations, JR, on your win. Great shooting tonight. Uh, Ruben, great shooting as well. You know, just came up a little bit short, but uh, it was still a great match on both, both gentlemen's part. You know, we couldn't have asked for a better match tonight. And uh, look forward to seeing the beast Marco in tango going at it. On the seven footers, it's going to be going to be a match for the ages for sure. So, and uh, I guess you know I'm I'm going to have to throw out here that uh, it's looking like OG wants a little bit of the Godfather. So, you know, it looks like he's willing to step in for Gizmo while Gizmo licks his wounds and applies bandages where appropriate. So, you know, I, well, I can't. I think Gizmo's licking other can't. places because he's too busy for you, Ron. Right, I, you know, but you know, I, I, I can't. I can't turn OG down. You know, OG no, is I mean, OG is a great one too. You know, so you know we may have to. We may have to get that. That's right. So we're we'll have to get that one scheduled in because I enjoy, I enjoy a good match with OG as well. And as a matter of fact, I, I think I owe him one. In all <laughs> honesty, I, I think he got me the last time, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to go you know, back. I, and I, check the footage yeah we'll have to go back and take a look at it but uh i i think that uh i think i might owe him one so you know the 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 grudge match the tiebreaker as it were you know i i think we're gonna have to have to bring that one to light yes sir so uh yeah with all that being said good show everybody you say uh one of the matches coming up obviously we're gonna look for tango and marco big opportunity there for tango i don't think they've ever locked horns before and uh we haven't seen marco play uh eight ball heads up yet on the bar box but i would imagine you know he'll be tough to beat no matter what but uh tango can bring a break um like he has been because it's just that's really been the story for him uh you look back at his last three or four wins they've all been because his his break he's just you know he's doubling guys on on balls down and um you know 
anybody new to this format, you know, that break is super important, not only getting the ball down and staying at the table, but making sure that you don't have a lot of problems to deal with, a lot of clusters, um, because uh, as we say, nobody's coming to save you. You got to figure your way out of those situations. So, uh, yeah, kudos to you, Tango, and good luck moving forward. Yeah, looking forward to seeing that match for sure. Yeah, be a good one. Classic. So, but, uh, so once again, thanks for everybody joining us. I think we're going to cut the stream here. Um, so. And thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Darren. Thank you, yeah. uh, Ron, for a great commentating as well. For sure. But glad to join. Appreciate the offer. Yeah. So, uh, until next time, I guess, let's find our open and we'll end it on that. So thanks for everybody joining us and we'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody.